this zip track stage one finish we can expect pretty much the same can't we and we love a sprint finish there's nothing like it absolutely well sprinting is the one element that i love here is we actually look over the track map and i'll actually throw to phil and robbie to take us through today's stage well, the, the race rolls out and utilized as it so often does just for about eight and a half kilometers then out towards mawson lakes which has featured over the 21 years a number of times for the race stop we're going onward robbie heading out to them their hills pretty much a sea level for a while that's right well they skirt the hills if they look up to their right along this flat section they see the adelaide hills and know they're going to go up there and there's going to be some pain but along that flat section we often see the first attacks of the day and there's always a UniSA rider in one of those attacks. They love getting up the road. But after about 10 kilometres on the flats, if the brake is away, they've managed to build up a gap. They'll turn right up to One Tree Hill. It drags up, but then they get to the first KOM at Snake Gully. 10% is the gradient for 1.1 kilometres. It's the, the one and only King of the Mountain Prize on today's stage. Then they go out to this circuit out around Horton, Paracombe and Inglewood. That's right, and then when we get down towards Inglewood, the feeding station area, we do three circuits down there before we finally start to retrace our, our route uh, back up towards uh, the One Tree Hill. And uh, this is when, if any breakaway has been on and going around those three circuits, they're going to start to be chased down as we get back towards the end of the Adelaide Hills. Back over One Tree Hill again, heading back now to Mawson Lakes. They're going to be pretty excited at this point. Yeah, and the good news for any breakaway that's still off the front is whatever they rode up on the way out, they get to go back downhill on the way back in because it's the same road. But when they get back onto the flats towards Mawson Lakes again, they're getting a sniff of the finish. The sprinters' teams are starting to line things up. But the teams have been talking about the potential risk of crosswind, so some may want to try and split things up. Pretty hard to break the bunch up and get away. People have to watch out. The guys like Richie Port, you can't afford to lose time. So it's about the sprinters, but the GC riders have got to pay attention. Mm.